2020 Buick Encore GX Review, Awkward in Betweener. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The year 2021 marks the second in a row that GM's near-premium Buick brand has sold two different vehicles with the name Encore on the back. There are a few good reasons for that, but if you take one thing away from this review, it's that you want the Encore GX rather than the normal Encore. While the two cars share a name, the commonality more or less stops there. The Encore GX is built in a different factory, in a different country, on a different platform, and with different powertrain options. It's smarter, better looking, and more efficient. The Encore GX's only perceptible flaw relative to the Opel-based car that came before it is the price tag. That's not to say the GX is free of other issues, though. This is a far better Encore, but still a so-so subcompact crossover. Of GM's four brands, none have offered such a consistent string of visually attractive vehicles as Buick. The Encore GX, though, stands out as a dramatic improvement on an already attractive vehicle. The GX is only 3 inches longer than its predecessor, but almost all of that is between the axles, the proportions are far cleaner because of this gain. But the subtle floating roof, strong wheel arches, and modern front and rear ends are all significant improvements, too. Buick nailed the Encore GX's exterior design. There's less progress in the cabin, though. It's neither as premium nor as luxurious as its exterior would suggest, and too similar to the GX's downmarket sibling, the Chevrolet Trailblazer. A mishmash of plastics and faux leather litters the dash, while common GM switchgear abounds. The black-on-black -black color scheme is drab and uninviting, although the whisper beige or signet designs on Buick's consumer page induce little excitement, either. The extra length in the Encore GX's wheelbase yields a slightly larger cabin overall and noticeably larger cargo area compared to the standard Encore. But if you were hoping for a plusher or more refined driving experience, the GX is more of the same and, in a few areas, a bit less than its older sibling. Total passenger volume is up from 92.8 cubic feet to 94.3, which translates to a noticeably roomier first and second row. The front seats offer ample space, with more than enough headroom and even plenty of shoulder room. A 10-way power driver's seat is standard on all but the base trim, while the range-topping essence we tested wears upholstery that Buick claims is leather. The material itself is inoffensive, but it lacks the richness or soft feel of real hides. Second row passengers can stretch out somewhat, with the GX offering up 36.0 inches of legroom to the normal Encore's 35.7, both models best a Mini Countryman, 33.8 inches, but fall short of more traditional competitors like the Mercedes-Benz GLA, 38.0 inches. The cargo hold is where the GX stretches its lead over the older Encore, with 23.5 cubic feet of space to 18.8 and a max of 50.2 to 48.4. Steps backward happen, though, with noise, vibration, and harshness from under the hood. As with the Trailblazer we tested last year, the Encore's turbocharged three-cylinder is a thrashy, unpleasant singer, with Buick's trademark quiet tuning doing little to mute the 1.3-liter engine. At least the Encore's ride is plush, with enough sound deadening to hide suspension impacts and tire roar, and the right tuning to hide most small and medium road imperfections. Our range-topping Encore GX Essence has an impressive collection of standard equipment. Wireless Apple CarPlay and a strong suite of active safety equipment in a sub dollar 30 000 vehicle is an uncommonly good value. Our tester adds a head-up display, adaptive cruise control, a wireless charge pad, a rear camera mirror, and automatic parking, creating an unimpeachably good tech suite. Most of the equipment works well, too. Buick's current infotainment, a reskin of what the GM offers in Chevy, GMC, and Cadillac products, is responsive, and the 8.0-inch touchscreen offers decent graphical fidelity. The layout, as we've noted in other reviews, is logical and easy to learn, so even tech-averse consumers will come to grips quickly. Wireless CarPlay functionality was faultless during our testing, with the system connecting quickly on startup and showing none of the bad manners we've encountered in other vehicles. Other features, like GM's rear camera mirror and wireless charge pad, are little things to make life easier. The head-up display is helpful, but the flip-up glass plate feels a little low rent and the image itself is tiny. But hey, at least the green font is mostly visible with polarized sunglasses.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.